words he speaks are true. We're on the luminary stew. We don't pledge allegiance to the Black Widow. His sting, the unholiest of kings, the Black Widow. Hello, and welcome to the next episode of the Spider's Parlor. I am the Spider, and now we're going to conclude the uh, early 80s with the first of two albums Zipper Catches Skin. I do not actually own the LP of this yet, I'm just looking for it, but the cover. It's very generic, but kind of cool in the same at the same time. It's all the lyrics of the album printed on the very front. Most of them anyway. Uh, and he's highlighted the word zipper catches skin. And if you look in the background, it's kind of faded, but it's hard to see. It's kind of like one of those things where you have to kind of look with your eyes kind of crossed. You can actually see the words Alice Cooper in, in there in the back as him. Again, it just does not look like the man that we're accustomed to knowing. Zipper Catches Skin follows the same tradition of just kind of oddball songs with no rhyme or reason behind it. Uh, of these, I'm trying to think. The ones I would have to say I like the best for sure would be Tag You're It, which is an ode to uh, slasher films. And he has a line that goes, just like the scene in Halloween, you think it's all over and you're gazing into space. But you got to make sure you turn around and you're staring at him frozen face to face. And he looks at you and, he looks at you and says, tag, you're it, sweetie. Um, he also does, I like Adaptable. Adaptable is probably my favorite one. Uh, and you also got, uh, I like girls. And it's a, that's a great song. And um, I love Zorro's accent. In fact, you know, it's a tribute to Zorro. And I definitely have to say <laughs> the title of this last one, I'm Alive. That was the day my dead pet returned to save my life. Wow. It's very similar in the oddball title like um, Ripping the Sawdust from My Teddy Bear from Special Forces. Um, but zipper catcher skin, yeah, it's you know, it's a definitely you know quirk, quirky. I'd probably give it about a five, actually. It just, you know, there was no hit single from this one. In fact, no single was released uh, from this one. Uh, in my opinion, if I was to be Alice and want a single released, it would probably either be "I Like Girls" or "I Am the Future," which is on the movie Class of '84. Uh, I will say another oddball title on here is No Baloney Homo Sapiens. Like I said, this man was at his most decadent in terms of alcohol. It's, as he's always said, it's amazing anything really came from these. But that brilliance shined through his alcoholism for the finale of these um, experimental albums. And that would be Alice Cooper's Dada. <laughs>